What observers think of as magnetic power is the measure of electric potential, which is created around gravity shafts and centers. It is not gravity, or mind, or stillness, which multiplies, however. That which multiplies and divides is electric potential only. And that means fast or slow, centripetal or centrifugal motion. The stillness of gravity is changeless. Electric motion surrounding it alone changes. The electric current begins and ends at cathodes. Cathodes are still points in the zero universe from which the energy of desire for creation is expressed. Chemically, cathodes are the inert gases of the octaves, which are not elements, for they will not mix with them. When God, the Father-Mother, divided the light of His sexless oneness into red light of Father and blue light of Mother, He ordained that the Father light must penetrate the light of Mother and be forever within her womb to live and without her womb to die. Thus it is that the red fire which centers our Father of Earth lie enfolded within the blue coolness of the Earth's crust and the cooling blue oceans and atmosphere of the encircling Mother womb. God's process of creating bodies through sex interchange is based upon the sex urge of the divided color spectrum of light to void its color divisions and become the white light of rest from which its tensions were extended. God begins each electric thought wave at a point of his still magnetic white light at the intersection of the three inner planes of the cube, which are at right angles to each other. The point of the beginning is the fulcrum. It is also the point of idea conception in mind. It is the centering eye of the inert gas of the elements which spring from that plane. It is likewise the cathode center of man's electric current and the beginning of the wave shaft which extends two ways to divide the red male half from the blue female half to create separated father and mother bodies. God's magnetic cube is three, multiplied by three. Its cathode planes of zero curvature are nine, and its boundary angles are the eight corners and the centering one of the fulcrum source. Cube wave fields are the nine mirrors of magnetic light which project dimensioned and conditioned forms to all of the universe, from one wave field to another throughout all creation. Divided light opposes its division. Opposed pressures arise from resistance to this division. Curvature arises from resistance to two-way opposed motion. Within the magnetic cube of zero curvature, a universe of opposed curved pressures is born. Each curved pressure within it is a lens to multiply or divide, heat or freeze, compress or expand, solidify or vaporize all pressures of motion which pass through its concavity or convexity. The cube and the sphere are one. The sphere is an incandescent cube, and the cube is a frozen sphere.